morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Bitcoin family. Hmm. YouTube channel for newcomers. My name is Didi, and yes, I'm coming to you from Portugal, beautifully from the side of my pool. Today, talking a little bit about the Bitcoin price in a short video because yes, I told you yesterday on Twitter, I uh, kind of invested in a bar and I want to convert it into a Bitcoin bar on a beach, a beach bar. So I need to do a lot of stuff uh, today. But let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin on this beautiful day over there. Here, this is the correct one. Now, we will start, of course, with the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see that the Bam Bam indicator is giving a long signal at the moment. We do need this blue line to cross the white line to the upside, and we do need a candle closing above that yellow stopping line. All of that is not happening at the moment, so we need to wait before a candle closes above the yellow stepping line and the blue line crosses the white line. That is when we uh, get a definite long, guys, in the four-hour chart. Um, it looks really strange. It's, it's like a sideways movement. It's trying to go up to 31k, coming down again. So, yeah, let's see. This is a strange pattern. Um, kind of looks a little bit manipulated to me because this is not like natural movement of Bitcoin. So let's see where else will take us. But I am always zooming out. I'm zooming out now to the one day chart. And on that one day chart, I have been telling you already for a very long time that that dotted line, that dotted green line is coming all the way up. I will zoom out. Wait, I'm going to zoom out as far as possible for you guys. All the way up as to out from 2013. So and it was a resistance line over here. You see? support resistance all the time here in 2016 then we broke that bull run in 2017 then we came back and tested that line as support we went up and tested that line as support we went up and now again we are testing that line as support so that dollar line that's the one that i'm watching very closely if we break that dollar line yes then i believe at 22k uh, around the 200 weekly moving average would be possible but as long we keep this one as support i think it's positive and this is a three day chart by the way so every candle is three days and i i just made it a little bit more simple to read all those green arrows on the top are the moments that the blue line crossed the red line in the macd here the blue line crossing the red line and then we see this price movement the blue line crossing the red line then we see the price movement the blue line crossing the red movement and we see the price movement now we are almost seeing a three-day cross so that will mean the blue line is going to crest the red line. That means, in my opinion, that the price is going to move up. How far it's going to move up, that is always the question. So the resistance at the moment is, of course, this green line over there, 33,600. If we break that, we go to the next green line. That will be this one, and that will be around 37,000 dollars. And if we can break that one, we go even higher to 41,000 US dollar. But that's what normally happens when we see that blue line crossing the red line, when we see these red uh, bar, pinkish bars, uh, turning green again. You see, all histories of Bitcoin, you can see this. Red, green, red, green, red, green, red. Okay, we should be seeing green very soon. Now, on the weekly, you can see the same. I've been sharing this chart also. We um, bounced here from that downward trend line in the RSI. Uh, we can also see that dotted green trend line coming up. We can, in this chart, see the red line on the bottom as well. There's the 200 weekly moving average. If that would follow this dotted line, it would be also coming up to 24K somewhere here, already 23K. So again, keep repeating it. In my opinion, we can do a very slowly move all the way to that trend line coming down the red one. That would be around like uh, 36k, uh, and that could be on mid of July. Then resist. Then we find resistance. We come back down to that dotted green line. That would then be at 31k, or we fall down lower to 30k again. Uh, all options, or we fall even lower than to the 200 weekly moving average. That would be then in 25k, which would mean that 25k would then be an amazing bottom. Because if we look back in history to that red line, in the long term, been support, support there, support in the bear market over there, support in the bear market over there. 
So that red line is an important one. Uh, you see all the long and the shorts, that's the Bam Bam indicator. Um, there is some real cool news about the Bam Bam indicator that I'm getting out very soon. Um, the Bam Bam indicator, we will have a light version. We will have a light version of the Bam Bam indicator. I will make the videos. I am making the five minute videos to explain everything about the light version. Um, and it will be priced at a very nice price so that more of you can have access to a light version of the Bam Bam indicator. Yes, you will get all these signals on the top screen yes you will also get some signals on the bottom and um, it will be called the bam bam light and coming to you very soon last tests are being done now a few more charts bam over here and uh, the simple moving average this one this blue line is the ultimate buying moment you know if we drop in the ultimate bear market that would be the ultimate buying moment you see every time when we hit that blue line that would be the ultimate buying moment here that was the 3k time after 14k we came back to 5k here we was at 200 you should have bought there you should have bought there man that was the ultimate buying of 200 now that line is slowly moving up we are at 21,600. if you look at this chart do you think there is a possibility we go far below this line i don't see that possibility i see that we can drop a little bit down below the line but like not a lot and if we see this line moving up the longer we stay in this bullish sideways movement the higher this line will come that line is going to slowly move maybe to 23 24 000 us dollar which then would mean that would be the bottom if that would be the bottom do you know what that means for the rest of the bull markets to come if that would be the bottom around 20k do you understand how high we can go in the next bull market this is insane. This is just insane. It's the ultimate buying moment, in my opinion. A bear market is a buyer's market. Now, I have a little bit more charts. Taking too long again, but I didn't make a video yesterday. I'm going to talk to you with, about these charts. The number of dresses with a balance of bigger than 10K. That are the people that are buying the Bitcoins that you're selling at the moment. You can see this on the chart. You're selling, or the people on average, the retail investors, the ones that are screaming, oh, Bitcoin is going to crash to 15K or 20K. They are selling. They are selling to who? Here on the right. They are selling there to them. You can see this yellow line going up. This beautiful yellow line, bam, going up. These are the addresses with a balance of bigger than 10,000 Bitcoins. They are buying. Do you understand why these whales are buying? Do you think they are buying because they believe that Bitcoin is going to crash to 10K or 15K? Or do you think they are buying because they know, wow, this cycle of the bears is going to an end. Let's start to stack these sets again because in the end, Bitcoin will go up again and again and again. I think that they are buying for that reason. I can't imagine they buy to make loss okay and that is what you also see on this chart this is just the most bullish chart i found on twitter just to give you a happy what day is it even i don't even know what day it is wednesday happy wednesday feeling look this could be also an option yes it could go to 15k what some people are shouting but also this could happen one two three you see double bottom second number two is the bottom number three is the bottom one is the bull run two is the bottom three is the bottom and that one level is the same level at the bottom you see this one two three one two three now what if this one two three is again happening does that mean that after three we will get this insane run after three we get an insane run that we still get that insane run like most unexpected time ever that nobody believes that bitcoin is going to do a massive pump and it still does a massive pump is that a possibility I don't know, I don't have a glass ball, but for me, in Bitcoin, everything is possible. And if you zoom out to the real facts, then you look at this chart, and then you say to me, yes, when we will reach that $1 million, around that $1 million 2013, they will probably say that we were lucky. We were lucky to be able to buy at that level of 30K. We were lucky because Bitcoin was not intended to go to a million. That is what the people will tell you. You know, in, in eight years' time, they will tell you, you were lucky, you were lucky, it was just a wild guess, it was a gamble. That's what they tell me. They tell me, Didi, you were lucky, it was a wild guess to sell your house or go all in. It wasn't as a guess, it was understanding deflation and then against inflation, it was understanding economic, it was understanding store of value, it was understanding the evolution of technology of the monetary system. It was not luck. 
And if you look at this line, that is what the line is telling us. This line has been the support line for all Bitcoin's history. And yes, we can drop a little bit. You know, here, this, this, this part we can drop. But you can win that. And you need to focus on the winnings, not only on the loss. Yes, you buy your dollar cost average into Bitcoin all the way till it touches that line, all the way to 20K, 50K, whatever you think. But then it will go up again. And that is the moment you make profits. Okay? And that is also what you see over here because this is showing you exactly um, how much profit you would have made if you would have trusted me a few years ago when the crazy guy sold his house. Um, then you would have understood that by now uh, Bitcoin in the first to the second halving made a 200% CAGR that's a compounded uh, profit so it means all the profits are being compounded into this period and then again with those profits compounded we made another 95% profit and then with those compounded we made another 87% profit so that's a lot of profit in the last 10 years by just stacking sets and hodling your bitcoins you can live off these profits that's what i'm proving with my family yes we went all in and at the moment yes we are living from that beautiful revenue we are making every year again our capital goes up with 80 percent with 100 percent it doesn't matter it goes up and from that capital we can live and we can travel all the world and spend places in these beautiful places like here and drink coffee in the morning while make a video for you mm -hmm. That was everything for today. It's becoming a too long video. Do you like my new HD camera view? Look, amazing colors. Now, if you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about Bitcoin at the moment? Are you feeling fear? That's the moment you should buy. Are you feeling euphoric? That's the moment you should sell. Um, do you want to know more about that beautiful, small, little, little, really little beach bar that I invested in and maybe also i'm gonna work in because i just want to do something um, else as well sometimes and maybe make my videos from there uh, then go and follow my instagram i got my instagram back thanks to this amazing guy check my instagram story I'm, I'm thanking him over there um, please follow my instagram didi taihutu that's the only one i will make stories about the bar and everything over there thanks for watching and yeah i just wish you an amazing wednesday and see you tomorrow again yes i'm going to continue making more walk and talk videos as well but today i was lazy and i needed the time thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam